F. Now this is a fairly long one, four marks, so we'll go through fairly slowly and make sure we methodically get everything right. A spherical balloon is being filled with helium at the rate given by dV on dt equals four pi r squared. So before we go any further, let's just see what that means. When you see dV on dt, we're used to seeing dy on dx. That D stands for delta, which means change. You might recognize that from some of the chemistry equations you've been writing over the last few years. So this is really a change in Y divided by or compared to a change in X. Now that's a bit of a mouthful. So usually we say change in Y, it's a vertical change, right? We usually call that rise and change in X, that's a horizontal change. We would usually call that run. So that's what it really means, dy on dx, change in y compared to change in x. When you see dv on dt, what you're really seeing is change in v, volume, divided by or compared to change in t, which is change in time. So how is the volume changing over time? Um, that's why it's being inflated, it's being filled with helium, and this is the rate 4 pi r squared. The question continues, v is the volume of helium in the balloon after t minutes, and r is the radius in centimeters. Where r equals one over four or a quarter t, find the volume of gas that's been pumped into the balloon when t equals six. Assume the balloon was initially deflated. Leave your answer in exact form. That's a lot to take in. So before we start, let's try to map this out, okay? There's four big pregnant sentences here, and then this last bit that says leave your answer in exact form. So we need to really zero in on what are the most relevant details. Now clearly this rate of change, dv on dt equals 4 pi r squared, we're going to need to use that. You can also see um, that there's this critical equation here, r equals a quarter t, which relates the radius to the time. Um, there's, a, there's a time here, t equals 6. They also go out of their way, they say it a whole sentence, assume the balloon was initially deflated. And then the last thing is, well, what's the question actually asking? What, what do they want? Like the final line should be something equals something. What is that something that they're trying to determine? You can see it in that second last line there. It says find, and that's obviously a key word that's very important, which can help you zero in the most important part of the question. Find the volume of gas that has been pumped into the balloon when t equals 6. Now we know the volume of gas from the uh, earlier part of the question, it's a v, right? So my final line is going to be something like v equals something or other. How do I get to v equals? Well, I'm going to start from this rate of change, dv on dt. If I were differentiating from v, I would get to dv on dt, but I don't want to go in that direction, I want to go in the opposite direction, so I'm going to integrate from dv on dt to get up to V, the volume of gas. Okay, so I've mapped out a path through the question. I want to find volume. That means I need to integrate dV on dt. There's just a quick problem before I do that. If I were to integrate dV on dt, it's four pi r squared, but then I'm integrating with respect to t, and I get that from this original derivative here. It's dV on dt after all. Now, this is a problem because I'm integrating with respect to t, time, and then I look at the thing I'm supposed to be integrating, and I'm like, there are, there are no t's in there. How am I integrating this? Um, I've got r's instead, so I need to change r's and replace them with something connected to t, and that's where this line in here comes in, r equals a quarter t. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm going to replace um, everything to do with r with t by writing this equation here. dv on dt equals, from the original question, 4 pi r squared. But I know that r equals a quarter t, so therefore I'm going to write it's equal to 4 pi multiplied by 1 over 4 t, all squared. Okay, so in fact, I'll even write them in the same color so it's a bit clearer. Um, that r squared is being substituted for a quarter t, all squared. All right, so now let's tidy this up a little bit. Um, I've got four pi times um, the quarter is being squared, so that's one over 16, and then the t is being squared, so it's t squared. Um, I can simplify four times one over 16, that's a quarter, so what I'm getting is pi 
t squared divided by four. Okay, so this is what I can now integrate dv on dt because now the right hand side is in terms of t. So now let's have a go. v is the integral of this pi t squared on four with respect to time. And remember, I know it's with respect to time because that's what the original line told me up here, dv on dt. So that's how I know what to integrate with respect to. Let's have a go at this integration. Um, the pi over four, I'm not gonna worry about that too much for now because it's just a constant. So I'm just gonna write that out the front, pi over four. And then it's got a t squared. Well, t squared is going to integrate into t cubed. Then I divide by the new index. So t cubed on three, plus c, let's just tidy that up a little bit, pi t cubed on the top, 12 on the bottom, plus c. So this is my expression for volume. Now this is good progress because I'm supposed to find a volume. I'm supposed to find the volume when t equals 6. But I can't do that yet because I've got this pesky plus c, this constant integration hanging around. Now if you have a think back to our earlier question, that one in the multiple choice, the way that we evaluate a constant of integration, find out what's it equal to, c equals three, c equals negative seven. The way we use um, the question is to find some extra piece of information. Um, in the initial question earlier on, it was um, a coordinate that the graph passed through. In this case, the question tells us, assume the balloon was initially deflated. Initially deflated. So there's an equation hiding uh, actually a pair of equations hiding in that sentence, but you've got to be able to interpret and see through the language, the, the verbs that are there, right? Initially. Initially is a statement about time, at the beginning. So that's a statement of t equals zero. That's what they mean by initially, we set time to equal zero. If the balloon is deflated, that's a statement about volume. How much air, or in this case helium, how much helium is in there? And the answer is, there's no helium in there. V is also equal to zero if the balloon is initially deflated. So I can use this t equals zero and v equals zero to evaluate plus c, like what is that equal to? So I'm gonna write when t equals zero, v equals zero. I'm just gonna do a straight substitution. I did zero on the left hand side, pi times zero cubed, all divided by 12, plus c. And you can clearly see all of that stuff uh, up here in this fraction here, that's all just going to become zero. So therefore, c is also equal to zero. That gives me an expression v equals pi t cubed on 12. My plus c has just become plus zero. So I have an expression, an expression I should say, for v. And now I need to return to the question one last time to say, well, when are you interested in? And it's when t equals six. If I substitute that value in, I'll get a volume. So let's do that. What I've got here is pi times, uh, I should say, when t equals six. Um, v is going to be equal to, now let's do the substitution, five times uh, six cubed over 12. And you can go ahead, you can pop that into your calculator. I'm going to try and do this mentally because it's always really handy if you can do things um, in your head. The faster you can do things and the, the more you can check errors, the more handy that will be. 12 is 6 times 2. So I'm going to do a bit of cancelling here. Cancel, cancel. Um, 2 cancels leaving a 3. So that means I just get left with pi times 3 times 6. That's 18 pi. And because we're being asked for a volume, I would say therefore the volume is 18 pi and I need to search for some units. So let's go back to the question. The question says uh, the radius is in centimeters. So this must be if the volume is, uh, you know, radius cubed or four thirds pi radius cubed, then this volume here will be in cubic centimeters. And we're done. So this is quite a, a piece of work to get through here. Um, we need to think about how do we use all of the, que the questions information. You can see I highlighted, underlined, I saw all the bits that I need to fit together. And you've got to work out what's your end point in order to work out well, where are you going to begin. And that was where I focused on that word find. Find the volume. I'm going to look for something to do with v. So therefore I'm going to take this derivative and I'm going to integrate. So that's how I charted my path through the question.